Irashaimasegoshijin-sama. Welcome to the Rabbit House. Konnichiwa minasan, genki desu ka? I'm Dave and today we have a very special unboxing. Today we are going to be looking at Chino from the anime Is the Order a Rabbit? Alright, so for those of you who don't know, Is the Order a Rabbit is a moe slice of life cute girls do cute things anime about a young girl named Kokowa-san who moves into a new town and into a boarding house called the Rabbit House. This rabbit house also acts as a coffee shop owned by Chino's grandfather, run by Chino's father, and Chino is one of the baristas that helps out. So continuing on, Chino, the nendroid we're going to be looking at today, is a very shy, very timid girl. When she meets Kokowa-san for the first time, she doesn't like her because of her expressive attitude. Chino is quite the opposite. She definitely doesn't like to meet new people. And even though she definitely looks very expressionless, when she starts to show expressions, it's very bright and cheery. So moving on to the nendroid herself, take a look at Chino's box. So here is Chino unboxed. So as you can see, she comes with two extra face plates, which are so cute and so true to the character. The expressions are definitely as they are in the anime. She also comes with a tray for her coffee. She has a little rabbit named Tippy and a really large coffee cup. And this cup can be used to house Tippy and it's really cute when you see him put together. And over here you have a miniature coffee cup a vacuum coffee maker, which Chino uses in the first episode of the anime. Over here we have a stirring rod, and I'll go into that a little more later. And another piece right behind the nendroid is a coffee table that Chino uses. Alright, so how you would put this together is you would just fold the sides inward, and then you would place the top of the table counter, and just fit it in, push out the sides, and you've got yourself a little miniature table, which is really cool and really simple. So now that we've seen all of her accessories, let's see Chino in action. All right, so here is Chino's first pose. It's very simple, it's very elegant. I really love the colors in Chino's uniform. Her hair is such a nice color. The detail in her uniform is really, really cool. Right behind her, she has a really nice bow tie in the back. She has a nice bow on the front. It's really, really cute. Her skirt is really cute. And right here on the top of her head is her pet rabbit, Tippy. And Tippy and Chino are inseparable. Tippy is usually right here at the top of Chino's head. And Tippy stays on with a little plastic slip. So one thing I do want to note that it was a nightmare putting the base stand behind Chino's back. Chino has that problem with Nendoroid characters with really long hair. It was really hard to get in there. There is actually a separate part for the Nendoroid base that has a little extension so that you can reach in under her back, under her long hair, into her back. And that's how you get her to connect to her stand. It was pretty hard to put in. It doesn't always want to cooperate, but eventually you're going to get it. And if you're a Nendoroid collector, you definitely got to get used to characters with really long hair. With that said, I love this Nendroid, I love this character, so let's go ahead and move on to the next pose. So here is Chino's next pose. Since Chino is very shy, very passive, she usually likes to hide behind her coffee tray, and she normally has this expression when Kokowa-san does something foolish or says something dumb. Chino is a very shy but serious character, so when Kokowa-san is making a fool of herself, Chino usually dons this expression, and it is really, really cute. I really love how shy Chino is because it definitely reminds me of myself. So let's go ahead and move on to the next pose. So this pose is definitely one of the cuter poses. As you can see, Chino's expression has completely changed. She's bright, she's sunny, she's cheery, she's no longer shy. 
and it's probably because of how cute Tippy is inside of his giant coffee cup. One thing I want to note is that the base fits perfectly under the table so you can just slide it in and the base is absolutely hidden which is really cool and I just really really love this pose because it shows a different side of Chino that you normally don't get to see even in the anime. These moments are very few and far between and it's really cool that we get to immortalize a moment like this in an android form. So I did not mention it earlier but Tippy, Chino's rabbit, is actually the reincarnation of Chino's grandfather who passed away. As I mentioned Chino's grandfather owns the rabbit house and when he died he gave it to his son and for some reason Chino's rabbit can speak and nobody knows that Tippy is Chino's grandfather for the exception of Chino and her father. So it's definitely funny hearing Tippy speak because he does speak in an old man voice and all the characters are like, where is that voice coming from? And it's really cute and it's really funny. It's probably why Tippy and Chino are inseparable. Chino loves her grandfather. So it's great to see these two together. All right, Chino's next pose is a very simple one. She is getting ready to drink a cup of coffee. I do want to note that this pose was a little hard to put together because the coffee cup is so tiny and fitting it into her hand was a little bit of a hassle because the sides of her hair kept wanting to knock it out. As you remember from my last unboxing video, Ika Musume had a very similar problem where her squids would knock out the beer mugs. Here, it's kind of the same, but it was not as hard as the Ikemusume Nendroid. Even though this pose is very simple, it's still very, very cute. And for Chino's last pose, which I think is the coolest, you have Chino getting ready to make a pot of coffee. In her hand, she has a stirring rod. On the table, you have Tippy and a vacuum coffee maker, and it all just blends together, just like a real barista would. So there is one thing I want to note, is that the stirring rod in her hand is not the original piece. As I was trying to put the piece in her hand, I ended up losing it, and it flew away, and I have no idea where it is. So definitely a warning to you who plan to buy this Nendroid or have this Nendroid. She has a small plastic stirring rod and it's very tiny. You will easily misplace it just like I did. Fortunately, it's a very easy fix. All I did was get a paper clip. I just cut a small piece off. The paper clip is actually a bit longer than the original piece, but it still fits in the hand perfectly. It actually fits better than the plastic piece that was in there before it. So I think it turned out pretty well. This is the first time I've ever lost a Nendroid piece and I was a bit devastated. But at least now she actually has a metal stirring rod instead of a plastic one. So there's looking at the upside. Again, be careful guys, it's so easy to lose Nendroid pieces. So that's it for my Chino Nendroid unboxing and review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a really tough one. Overall, Chino was a very difficult Nendroid to put together. You are constantly taking out her hand pieces and replacing it with many different hands in order to do her different poses. It's very hard, it's very easy to lose a piece, so definitely be careful with this Nendroid. In the end, she is definitely worth it. I think Chino is probably one of the best Nendroids that I own. Um, def well, at least definitely a personal favorite. There are about five main characters in the anime is the Order or Rabbit. I highly doubt the other characters will get Nendroids. Who knows, we've already had two seasons and they are available on Crunchyroll so you can watch them right now. But with that said, it's probably doubtful that other characters will get their own Nendroids. But Here's hoping. So before I go, I wanted to thank Carolina and Kylie for requesting this unboxing. I definitely had a fun time showing her off to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And before I go, I also have a couple of announcements. This Saturday, May 28th, I will be going to Fanime here in San Jose, California. Fanime is one of the largest anime conventions in Northern California. So if you guys are in San Jose, definitely head to Fanime this Saturday, that's when I'll be there. And look me up, I will be cosplaying for the first time ever. <laughs> and I will be cosplaying as Umaru-chan from the anime Himoto Umaru-chan. I bought a wig, I have her little hoodie thingy, and I think it's gonna be really cute, I hope. Either way, it's gonna be a fun time. So. 
come to Fanime and say hi to me. I'm really shy, so if you see me, if you recognize me, definitely come up and say hi. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for me. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm gonna upload pictures of my cosplay on there, so if you want to see how I look, definitely check out my Instagram. All those links are in the description below. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Jane. still here. Come, pull up a seat and tell me your story. No! Oh. <laughs> oh, happens to me all the time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's a good one. Ha ha ha! Oh, is that so? Really? That's so interesting. How did you know? <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it myself. <laughs>